Hello and welcome back to my channel where we go beyond the design to build something beautiful. Today I'm showing you how to build a riser, a home theater riser. I built this riser for our theater room and the goal of this theater room was to have a lot of space for people to sit, of course. I mean, what's the purpose of a theater room other than to bring lots of people in and um, enjoy time with your family watching a movie. So um, I wanted of course the people in the back to be able to see the screen. So I built this riser to be able to use this couch behind me and um, be able to see the screen. It's super easy to do. Um, simply built the frame and then I covered it with plywood, like wrapped it with plywood as you'll see in the video here. And then I added carpet to that. Um, I'm not a carpenter by any means as far as like, I don't know what you call it, but a car carpet laying person. Um, I've never laid carpet in my life. Uh, it's not, that's way beyond my DIY skills. Um, but so all I did for this super simple was I just took a, my staple gun and I just stapled it on to the platform itself and it's held up well. Um, it's been over a year now since I did this and um, it's held up great. So um, if you don't have carpet laying skills, whatever you call that, um, installation skills, whatever, um, then this definitely will work great and it's super easy and gets through the project really, really fast. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more great content. This riser is based off of the riser measurements I needed. You can see those measurements in the description below. Be sure to adjust the measurements to meet your needs. Cut two 2x4s at 90 inches each and four 2x4s at 41 inches each. Drill one and a half inch pocket holes into each end of the 41 inch boards. Attach two of the 41 inch boards to the 90 inch boards using two and a half inch pocket hole screws. You should now have a rectangle. Here's a closer look at one of the ends of your rectangle. Measuring in about 20 inches from each end, attach your remaining two 41 inch boards to the 90 inch boards. Now we're ready to cut and attach our vertical risers. Cut 20 2 by 4s at 5 and a quarter inches each. Attach these 20 vertical risers referring to the picture below for the placement of each board. Add the top supports. Cut two 2 by 4s at 90 inches each. Attach to the risers with 2 and a half inch wood screws. Cut four 2 by 4s at 41 inches each. Attach these top supports directly above the other four 41 inch boards using 2 and a half inch wood screws. For extra support, I added one more support in the middle following these same instructions. Cut the plywood platform piece to fit and attach with 1 and a half inch wood screws. Now you're ready to attach the sides. Cut all four sides to fit and attach. Attach the carpet using a nail or staple gun. You'll cut the top and long sides to fit the platform. This will be all one piece. Attach this piece with your nail gun. Next, cut the shorter sides to fit and attach the same way. And that's it. Now you have a home theater riser to raise up your sofa in the back and ensure a better viewing experience for everyone. For a more detailed look at this home theater riser project, be sure to check out the full tutorial linked below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content.